Hey guys, on the last video, we talked about a new well that we just drilled in southwest Louisiana. So we're going to go with a first step to calculate reserves for this well. All right, so let's recap. The prospect well is a Lily Young number one. It's shown here in this black star. Now I'm going to show you three geologic maps. A subsurface structure map of the target reservoir that we're going to be producing, the Marge H2. And I'm going to show you a net sand map and then a current net pay icicle map. All right, so let's look at the structure map. This is the fall block that we're interested in that we have colored in green because we we're expecting oil there. So this map is based on the seismic. It has all the faults in brown and the well take points and contouring of the structure. And, and, the, and we've also annotated all the wells that have tested or produced in the reservoir. These three wells have produced in the subject fault block. And originally in 1965, when they drilled the first well, the lowest known oil was here. So that's as far as down as we think the oil is. It's up dip that way. All right, these wells all produced, but this well watered out, this well watered out, this well watered out, this well watered out. So we know that the current, or we estimate that the current contact is right here. All right, but to get, to, to get all these data points for this well, these uh, wells, we have to look at the logs. Uh, all right, so this is an example of a one inch log that we had on one of the wells. So what we do is you have to figure out where the top of prosody is for the Marge H2. It's at this depth. You have to correct for any deviation or elevation of the rig and you get 75, 20 sub C. All these depths are in sub C. This is an example. All right, I wanna show you another set of logs. This is two logs on the same well. This is a one inch log and this is a detailed five inch log. This is an old field wheel. Most of the wells, all we have is a one inch log, but on a few, we have five inches. So the reservoir that we're going to evaluating is here. So on the one inch log, you have much less detail. It's better to have the five inch log so you can estimate how thick the reservoir is more accurately. All right, so once we get all the thicknesses for all the wells, we post it on the net sand map. Each of these black dots is a well with its value of uh, thickness. Okay. The subject well that we were doing the reserves is the Lily Young. It's the thinnest well in the whole field. All right, the contour is our interpretation of a geologic interpretation of how the sand was laid down and how thick. So this, this gives us an idea of the variability of the thickness over the area. All right, so we take the, this map and this map and we combine them to come up with the current net pay icicle map. This is a thickness map. All right, so in general, uh, the zero line right here, these are the thickness lines. The zero line is always equal to the all water contact, current all water contact. And then the 10 foot thick and the 20 foot thick, as you move up dip, there's a wedge on here. Uh, but you also have to honor the 10 foot thickness from this map here. All right, so this is the, this is the thick net pay isochore map, current net pay. It's about 11.2 acres and we, we as, as we perimeter all these areas, we put in the formula and we get 156 acre feet. So that's the reservoir volume. So once we get the well on production and know more, more about the fluid properties and everything, we'll calculate all in place and recovery factor and reserves. That'll be on the next video.